Hi ladies, um, it's Penny here. I just thought I'd come on because I've been so pleased with my little haul I got from um, the charity shop. I was the best pleased having to go to give blood again <laughs> with my diabetes um, at the clinic. But um, by the time I'd been in the second charity shop, I was very pleased I'd been. Yeah, I just thought I'd have a... Um, I know I've mentioned it on Facebook, we had a funeral yesterday. He's my dear um, father, ex father in law, I was married to his son. And uh, he was a proper gentleman, and he'd be missed by many. Look how handsome he was. In, he was a military police in, in Burma, and uh, that was his doggy, uh, Shep. And uh, yeah. He'd be, he'd be sadly missed. That's he, that was his wife, my ex-mother-in-law, my ex-husband, <laughs> my ex-sister-in-law. So, but he'd be, he'd be very sadly missed. Even half, I used to go across on a Friday night. He only lives across the road. And um, I'm with another neighbour and they used to put the world to rights and watch boxing, have some chips and, and a pint or two. So, uh, yeah. So, just to remember... Dad, John Dad. <laughs> then as I say I went into a charity shop and uh, I said, oh, well, especially around here, you don't get um, you don't get many surprises. The first thing I saw when I went in was this lovely handbag. Oh, not so much for the handbag, but for the buttons. Look at them. I bet this was quite expensive. This handbag when it was new. Look, there's buttons everywhere. I'm not going to show Betsy Doodle because you know she's button mad, isn't she? So, and it's all beautifully lined. It's by Toba or something. So, I'm afraid the buttons are coming off, but, I'll, you know, I'll save the bag and re redecorate it a different way, most probably. I couldn't go past all them beautiful um, pearl buttons, could I? So, uh, that was my first thing I found. And then, I don't really string up a lot of beads or anything, but I saw this spinning string. I'm just going to check. I've got a mirror behind me. Uh, there we go. Um, a spin string bead stringing tool. 99p. And I've not had it out of the box. I don't know how it works. I'm hoping it's going to be... Oops going to be some good instructions for me. There you go, that must go that way, mustn't it? If not, I will look up YouTube, what's that in there? Oh, oh like a beading, um, must be a beading needle of some kind in there. So, I'll be looking for instructions on YouTube to find out how to use that. So that's good, I think some lady did have a big clear out. Look at these lovely, um, now they'd be great for decorating, aren't they? Just the nice size. I've never had any this big. Uh, paper clips. And they're all in their own little jar, which is great. Uh, they picked up these. These were 49 pence. Um, and it's just a little nail gem wheel. Um, but you know when I do my butterflies and I want little tiny things on the wings and that, so uh, when I'm doing my little mini wheel, oh it was from Primark, it was a pound originally and I got it for 49p. It's never been opened so I suppose I got it at half price anyway. So that was that. And I nearly walked past this, I thought oh, I don't need any more paper clips, but I thought no, it's, there's some lovely big ones and they're all different colours. There's some lovely clips here in different colours. I thought, no, no, I can't walk past that. And that was one forty-nine. It was from Asda originally, apparently. A clip set. So, that was another bargain. And then, I saw these books. Paper pads. And at the top there, it was from the range, which is, uh, about, oh, this thing is, um, Getting in my way. I'm about to put the big light behind the camera. The big light. You know. <laughs> we should always call that that the ceiling light. Put the big light on, mother. Um, 
From the range it was reduced, was ten pound and been reduced. Anyway, I got it for one ninety nine, and it's, you can see it's still got the sellotape round there, and it's never been opened. But ooh, lots of goody goody goodies in there. Spring feast by Mindy. Oh God, Terrasois, Terrasois. So. Absolute bag, and I'm happy. And then blinking it on the bottom shelf was this one. It was only the two, and um, this again from the range, fourteen pound. And then I got it in Age Care, Age UK for two forty nine. And um, I'll give you a little quick flip through. Oh, there's some lovely colours there. And some of them have got glitter on. There's three, I think, of each, and none of them have been torn out, as far as I can tell. That's beautiful, isn't it, that brown? And that one. I mean, you could cut them out individually, these, if you wanted. So, very chuffed with those. Absolutely over the moon. Because, as I say, I don't uh, usually find that in my charity shops. And then there was this bag, and it said it was um, written on it, Pin holder sewing kit. Uh, it was one ninety nine. So I thought, oh. well, the first thing that grabbed my eye was I'd seen a little bit of the material in it, and uh, whenever I get try and get fancy material, it always ends up quite quite expensive. So that's full of bobbins, which is beautiful, and I like it. And this one is full of um, tape measure. Look. So that's very useful and very nice. So very pleased with that. And there's some stopping, so it's like proper wool wool stuff as well. Look, it's got curly bits in it. It's beautiful and soft. Too nice for a pin cushion, I think. Uh, that's all about where it come from. There's a brand new pen in there for a pickup stick. You know, for picking up your gems and, and whatnot. And there's one of these little tins. I didn't know what was in it till I got home. But I love these little tins anyway. And inside, an assortment, some tiny little buttons. Like, well, they're, not, they're like charms. The button charms, but the metal. Aren't they sweet? Uh, some little um, acrylic... Uh, domes, you could put uh, pictures at the back of her or anything. <coughs> Excuse me, some lovely brown buttons, some lovely little assortment of buttons there. Uh, these are for these are like I think for necklaces, you know, the, the hanging part for necklaces that you could put on so or charms, they're good, they've got little hearts on them. A couple of little metal scissors and a little handmade in leather, uh, like, well, leather effect, wood I think it is, but it's like a leather effect. So that's nice if you go and put that on your project. And look at it, what's in there. Oops, and there's some bobbins. Two small and one little bit longer, but nice. That's the them things I said. And, and then I saw these. Look, tiny little dominoes. But I've just realised they feel like a bracelet or something. They've got holes in them. But you don't have to use them for that. You can use them for anything you like. But aren't they good? I like them very much. So it was a little tin full of surprises. And there's another little bag. It looks like it's got green velvet ribbon. Another handmade. And um, handmade with love ribbon, so that's nice. And it's all in lovely condition. You can tell it's not old or anything. You know, by when somebody's put it in these lovely plastic bags. And then I was reading on one of these bits of paper. And from what I can gather, what is on here is um, it's handmade from India uh, paper. It's just, I think, yeah, just three pieces. But what I read on a bit of paper with it was it was handmade paper made in 
made in India, as I say, cotton. Could have some sari silk in it, I don't know. Isn't it gorgeous, that? It's beautiful, that. So that would be nice if with a project, like a sewing project of some kind. So, out of that for one ninety nine, And the other bag that I got, it said for 99p, and it said it's a, a sheep needle pelting kit. Well, it's something I've been looking at. It's trying to maybe start some time. Uh, uh, oh, look, there's a little acrylic um, rose. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I wonder if it's made of polymer clay, that, I think. I don't know. Or is it acrylic? It's been a bead as well. I think somebody's put a, a hole through it. It's either a polymer clay or acrylic, but I think it's... I think it's polymer clay for sale. Anyway, open this up and it's, besides feathers falling out on me, little tiny feathers, uh, brown ones, it's beautiful soft wool and it's to make a sheep, a black and white sheep, with full instructions. So, I'm a happy bunny, look at that, it's beautiful, I can feel Softer than the cat's fur, that is. And then you get this little felt mat. Hello, I am part of your CC kit. And there's, um, you know, one of those pokey things which you poke down. I'm not going to take it out because there it is. So it's all set up to start, really. And as I say, there's instructions. And they're not cheap, these kits. I know that. And I think this was just 99p they asked for that. Was it? Yeah, 99p. I did say I could have a discount for going wholesale, but I'd be very impressed with me. <laughs> and, um, oh, pins. Black and white pins. I don't know if this was all together. I can't imagine this being with the felting, though. And a lovely piece of black and white um, fabric. Which is, uh, that's pretty as well, isn't it? So... I was very chuffed and it made it worthwhile to go and give my little drop of blood to um, the nurse. And, um, and because I was such a good girl, I feel like this was my prize. So I'm going to try and put this little video up tonight because we are going away tomorrow. Um, we're going to surprise somebody. So I don't think she actually watches YouTube, but... Um, I'm not sure, so uh, I'm not going to say anything, but uh, it's a nice surprise. So anyway, we're going away for a few days, just over Easter, and um, and I'll come back, and I'll have a play around again, and what have you, and oh, look what Art's brought me to take with me on my house. A new magazine, he said, Die Cutting Essentials. And it's got a, a dye in there and what have you. So I look forward to going through that as well. So thank you very much ladies for watching. And uh, I'll try and make this as short as possible. And I will upload, download, back up or whatever it is I've got to do. Alright. <laughs> Thanks a lot ladies for watching. Bye for now.